It's very nice of you to come. It really is co-creating at its best. And we'll have a good time together today discovering new, clarifying, soothing, stabilizing, opening new doors, getting out of the box, getting into new understanding. We are eager to visit with you about anything that is important to you. There is nothing off limits here. You will like it. It will make sense to you. At the core of that which you are, you already know all of this. But since you got here in your physical bodies, you've been doing a logical thing, what all humans do. You become calibrators to what you're observing. So you have adjusted your vibrational frequencies to match what's going on around you. And sometimes that is very helpful and sometimes not so helpful. It's all part of acclimating to life on planet Earth. It's part of the process of becoming. You knew it would be like that when you decided to come into this body. But we are here, if you want, to talk with you about how to calibrate to who you really are, to that source energy that still exists in non-physical, even though you are here in this physical body. We call that your inner being, your source. That is the larger part of you that remains non-physically focused while you are here. And those two aspects of you work together very nicely because here you are. You weren't just willing, you were eager to get here, to get here and get focused here. Because you knew that the variety that surrounds you here would stimulate you, brilliant, worthy, specific you would stimulate you inspire you to more than was already here when you got here you knew that you are creator and that you've come into the most wonderful environment where what you create manifests so that you can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it but what you're not remembering for the most part is that quite a bit of that process of vibration or energy turning to thoughts and thoughts turning to things quite a bit of that process is not translatable to you or seeable or hearable or smellable or tasteable or touchable until it bursts onto the scene and that's the part you like the best you like it when it manifests you like it when you get the whiff of it that it's coming Esther is intoxicated when she can feel something that she's been thinking about for a while and something that she knows for sure is in her vortex and she knows because she understands the laws of the universe and she believes us that it's been gestating that it's been becoming and she knows it's going to show up where she can experience it sensually soon and she loves, loves, loves that moment that she can feel is about to burst into the scene of her life. And she stands in eager anticipation and readiness for those clues. Do you? And so we know you like it so much when it manifests. And oh, that's the time to turn on the gas, isn't it? That's the time to make your thoughts and wishes known. That's the time to speak about what you want with more specificity. Because when you do, it not only makes it come to you faster, but it makes you more a witnesser of so many more parts along the way so that you are not surprised while you are delighted so much. You feel it coming. You know it's coming. Can't you feel a lot of things coming? Can't you feel how much you have been sifting and sorting and asking? Don't you just know that your vibrational reality is just full of all kinds of asking? And if you have any understanding of what we've been talking about, you understand that your vibrational reality, we call that your vortex, is ready to burst into physical stuff for you. And as you stand, not impatient, but knowing, not insecure, but sure, not wondering how you're doing, but eager to see it as it shows up, then you're a deliberate creator who is having the satisfying journey 
of evolution just like you knew you would when you decided to come but if you are a human who is sort of stuck inside the box and by that we mean inside the box of whatever already exists so you're an observer or a regurgitator a pigeonholer a sort of historian or a keeping track of what is then you may not feel such an eagerness for what's being born out of all of that you might be stuck in your sifting and sorting and defining what's already here that you like and what's already here that you don't like and how the stuff that's here that you don't like got here and who's to blame for the stuff that you don't like and what's happening to all the stuff that you do want and where did that all go and am I really worthy and is anybody really worthy and what's going on in other words humans are stuck in what is because you are so good at translating vibration into what you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch you're really 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 good at that but we want you to be good at something else too we want you to be good at feeling what's in your vortex feeling what's outside the box and inside the vortex we want you to stand in anticipation but in order to do that you have to trust the laws of the universe and there's another big thing you have to trust and we're going to talk a lot about that here today because we care very much that you do come to know this you got to know you are worthy and deserving of the things that you are choosing because if you don't think you are you don't let them in and when you don't let them in then you don't see them and when you don't see them then you make a flawed premise you say what I want isn't here therefore I must be bad I must be unworthy or I must not be good at this or I must not understand it and we think it's mostly you just don't understand and we are fixing to do something about that today we want you to know that you are the creator of your experience that your point of attraction matters it's all that matters in terms of what happens in your life and we want to help you to see how you can offer your vibrational point of attraction on purpose so that it matches what you do want not what you don't want you see it's like every subject is a stick with two ends on it it's what you want on one end and the absence of what you want on the other so if you're talking about prosperity or money abundance you might be feeling it from the not having it end of the stick so every time you use the word or every time you ask you're in a vibration that isn't letting it in you're in a vibration of opposition to what you're asking for and then you misunderstand you think that somebody else up there must be holding up the flow but nobody else ever is nobody can hold up your flow only you but if you don't know how you're doing it then you might keep doing it without knowing how you're doing it and pretty soon you've got this pattern of not expecting good things to come to you when you've got a pile of them ready to explode into your experience if you could just find just a different mood and attitude just a different expectation just a different belief in who you are if you could just know the value of you and let that dominate most humans we love you so much you know what's coming next most humans calibrate to the humans around them so an analogy that we've been using recently that feels effective to you it's as if you're walking around with a bag of marbles and this bag of marbles magnetic attractive marbles represents every thought you've ever thought but all of them are not active right now so all of them are not actively attracting but they could they could wake up you could have an experience and cause them to become active again and then it starts showing up you see that don't you you're not thinking about something for a long time and then you think about it and then everywhere you go there it is that's because you activated it whether you meant to or not you did well everybody else is walking around with a bag of marbles too and when you come in the proximity of one another even when you think about each other your marbles activate and then if there are matching marbles in their bag because law of attraction is very precise their marbles light up too and then you have a relationship based upon active marbles so 
let's say, for example, that you decided that you wanted something and you are fairly frisky in life. You haven't been beaten down by your constant looking at the absence of what you want yet. And you begin making a statement about something that you want. And because, let's just say in our analogy, you're on your own, you're floating free, there's nobody around you, your helicopter mother is somewhere else, your peer group pressure is off peer grouping somewhere else, and you're just feeling kind of high and excited about this idea. And in that feeling, your idea is evolving. It's already fully manifested because when you ask for it, it became a vibrational reality. When you ask it is given, someone should write a book. <laughs> but you've got to find vibrational matching with what you've asked for or it cannot come into your experience. So here you are frisky. You've got your bag of marbles. You're not really thinking about that. But you're thinking about this new idea. And when you think about it, it feels good. You like thinking about it. It feels good. So then... Somebody you know shows up and you tell them about your idea. But they've already been touched by something like that. They knew somebody who wanted that and it went bad and they fell off a cliff or in a hole. And so when you tell them about your idea before you have fully developed and it has enough power that it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, they might say something that might activate another marble in your bag and so you go from a feeling of certainty to a feeling of well still it's really probable that I could get that but as they talk longer than it feels maybe possible and by the time they're done with you you're sure it cannot happen because you took on contradictory thoughts and you did not hold yourself pure on the vibration of what you want. It is simple physics. That's all it is. Everything in your universe is precise. And once you get a handle on what a pure thought feels like to you. It feels like love and appreciation and exhilaration. It feels fantastic. It feels like happiness. It feels like jumping and running and skipping and bouncing. It feels like yes, 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 yes. But somebody that has been touched by others with their bags of marbles, they're in the warning mode. Oh, you better be careful. You could get your heart broken. You could want something that you can't have and then you could be like Uncle Frank who just lays under the bridge all day. <laughs> and so what we want to help you to realize is that you have the ability to find a thought of what you want and to practice it into a place of purity and to bring it all the way home in its fantastic dimension in whatever way you want. It will get bigger and bigger and broader and better and better and better because that's how the universe works. That's how the law of attraction works. But there is no assertion. There's only attraction. And so if you are attracting desire and doubt, what have you got? You got a muddy mess. I want it, but I want it, but I felt like I could do it. And then I talked to them or I didn't even talk to them. I just showed up where they were and they just vibrated around me <laughs> and I paid attention to them and listened and wondered what they were worried about and what they were reading and what they were watching on television and I started doing it too and now I also want to die <laughs> so we are eager to talk with you about whatever it is that you want to talk about there is nothing off limits here you will notice a perfect unfolding of things if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.